Hey Scruffy, how you doing? Okay. Slightly more enthusiastic meows, huh? Yeah. So I so you sleeping all day. Okay, well I got let's see. Your super supper. <clears throat> Okay. So I cooled down today. So we're somewhere in between the freezing, the near freezing that we had the other day and the warm temperatures we had the past couple of days. So I think we lost 10, 15 degrees. <clears throat> okay. The glove on. So once again it was supposed to rain all day and instead it yeah, rained overnight and then kind of stopped in the morning and then yeah we got I was a little worried he's gonna scratch there. And yeah basically it's yeah uh, kind of cleared up in the middle of the day. It's partly cloudy, so we didn't get the full blown sun, but we got a little bit. Wow, that was an aggressive rub. So, once again, Decided to go for a walk since I've been expecting rain for the last almost week now, I think. And uh, I thought I'd be locked indoors. And the forecast actually still says rain. And yesterday the forecast changed, so it looked like there was finally going to be an end to the rain. But they just amended the forecast, so now it's once again predicting all rain and the foreseeable forecast. So I decided I should take advantage of the weather while I can. But yeah, I've been skipping my pull-ups since I've been going for the walks. The, the ground was muddy again, so I actually took a different, decided to walk around the neighborhood after a certain point, so some of the park I go through is, it has sidewalk and drier areas, uh, but some of it's just turned to mud, so I decided I'd avoid those sections and ended up walking around uh, different parts of the neighborhood that I don't normally go through. So it's, it's, it's a pretty big park, so there's a lot of area in the surrounding neighborhood. So I was kind of hoping to see more uh, houses that were decked out for the holidays. So I know in some neighborhoods, you know, some people go all out for Christmas decorations. Fortunately, yeah, my neighborhood's not one of them, but yeah, I can't really blame <laughs> your... Ooh, he's grabbing the glove. Can't cast, uh, your, yeah, throw stones in glass houses, I guess, because yeah, I don't do anything for decoration either. So some of the places I bike through, sometimes they have really nice uh, decorations this time of year. So I wish I could uh, go biking, but my legs still all messed up. I didn't do my crossover exercises last night, so I don't know where I am at the moment. It 
Yeah, I didn't see much at the park today. So the tennis courts are actually in use. So I think people figured out, yeah, there's no rain. But yeah, it was kind of cold today, so except for the tennis players, there weren't that many people out. I went a little earlier today. The walk. So I didn't have to do that much in the morning. So a lot of the classes I've been taking are on reduced schedule right now, so. Don't have as many morning commitments right now. Though I still have a slight backlog, so I do need to get caught up. So I'll probably be doing that. But I uh, you know, spent the last half hour dealing with a package that was delivered to my house, but it's addressed to somebody that I never heard of. So my suspicion is that it was probably a Christmas gift or something for uh, somebody, but they put down the wrong address. And so I was trying to figure out how to get the package back and get it sent to the right person, or at least return to sender so they can, you know, contact the gift giver and tell them your address is wrong. You need to get a new address. So I contacted it. So the gift was a bunch of beauty supplies, so I don't know anything about that. So I called the company, and I thought they'd be a little more helpful. I mean, they weren't mean or anything, but yeah, they basically, for privacy purposes, they couldn't uh, talk. I said, well, you, you don't have to divulge anything. I got like the invoice right in front of me. I tell you everything that you could possibly tell me. I don't, I don't. Yeah, you don't have to tell me anything. You just need to help me uh, get this uh, sent to the right person. And basically, they said uh, your th three options are call the package delivery service to have them uh, pick up the package and uh, return it. Two, drop it off at the post office. Or three, find one of our stores and drop it off at the store, telling them that you know, it was sent to the wrong, or there's nobody at that address, the person signed at that address, and it needs to be returned. And so I was kind of thinking, well, you could have saved me a step, and you could have you know, contacted the delivery company on my behalf, so I won't have to sit in the phone queue on hold which I've become very accustomed to, thanks to my dad's paperwork, and I'm very sick of. But yeah, they were, they were nice, but yeah, I, just, I thought, yeah, gee, I'm, I'm going out of my way to basically save you guys money, cause, and, you know, try to help somebody else not throwing away money, and, you know, keep your customer happy. Try to lift up a finger for me, because I'm going out of my way to help you. But yeah, anyway, so they gave me the phone number for the shipping company. So I called the shipping company, and of course, yeah, one of the things I hate about this is, you know, the automated phone menus. And so, of course, in both in both calls, I received a package that uh, was not, or, or, yeah, has nobody at this address by that name that's not on the phone menu. And of course, it wouldn't be on the phone menu because it's so uncommon who... Who'd waste time putting that on the phone menu? And so, trying to navigate the stupid phone menu, basically just to get an operator, but they make the menu so hard they don't want to talk to you. So you got to basically start clicking on some approximation, hoping that it'll get you to somebody you can talk to that will be able to help you. 
So eventually, yeah, in both cases, I got to a person and they were able to help, kind of. So the package company was definitely able to help. So they are going to have somebody come by and pick up the package in a few days. So I just got to remember to leave it out. So I don't want to leave it out before they come. Be, uh, so a few days before they come, though, because, you know, the package might get stolen. So I'm going to do it the night before at the earliest. But yeah, I guess this time of year, it's hard to get a delivery person. So I gotta wait. But yeah, I don't want to go to the post office. And then, yeah, they're asking me, can you just, uh, so would you be able to bring it to one of our local stores? That'd actually be probably the easiest thing to do. And I'm like, I don't know anything about beauty products. I don't know. I've never heard of your company. It's not a slide at your company. It's just I don't know anything about this type of product. <laughs> and so they actually did. I asked them, well, is there a store nearby? And I gave them my address. And they said, oh, yeah. So there is a store nearby. Not that nearby, but I could go there. But this time of year is probably a madhouse. So I don't really want to go. Okay, Scruffy, I guess we're ready for food, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's get your food. Okay, here it comes. So yeah, I thought going, uh, trying to go to the store, especially this time of year, I probably spend half the day trying to find parking. I don't want to do that. So I remember, you know, so last year my dad was alive. I wanted to get him a special, or you know, a thoughtful gift. And uh, I found out, at least for a while, they're not there anymore, but uh, for a while there was a place nearby that was selling gourmet popcorn. And my dad loved uh, popcorn. And, uh, and so I wanted to get him basically like every, every single possible flavor that the store had. And... Uh, just uh, <clears throat> give them the ultimate assortment pack, and I, I consider doing it. You know, I know that you, know, you can buy popcorn online and have it shipped, but it's kind of expensive doing that because it's it's really bulky, so the shipping's not cheap. And then everyone insists on shipping in these tin cans, which are not cheap either. And it's kind of a waste because uh, you basically throw the tin can away at the end. And they're nice cans. It feels like, yeah, it feels like such a waste. And it's like I just want the popcorn. <laughs> and I'd like to save some money. Uh, I don't want to waste money on the tin. I just uh, want a lot of a lot of popcorn in a lot of different varieties. And so I went, sorry, I did my research, I found out, yeah, there was a local place. It's actually the same mall that this uh, beauty store was at. But I remember when I went, yeah, the parking was just awful. It was, there was not enough parking, so you basically waiting hours to try to find the space. It was absolutely horrible. So, I think I actually tried parking 
So actually, well, I did try parking at the very edge of the, the mall, far, you know, farthest spots, just hoping to get a, you know, a space. I don't mind walking. And uh, still couldn't find a space. I think I actually left the mall and tried going down the street, just find somewhere I could park and then just walk to the mall. But yeah, there was like nothing. You know, so. Wasted a whole bunch of time in that um, area trying to find parking outside the mall. That didn't work either, so I'd go back to the mall and play that uh, parking game. So I finally get a space that's you know, really, really far, but I don't much care. I just want to get in the mall, get the popcorn, and get out. And uh, I had placed my order in advance because I knew it would take some time to uh, fill the order. And so when I showed up, yeah, they were, you know, expecting me. And uh, and yeah, I think I pre-arranged. I told them, yeah, like uh, so they knew I was ordering a lot of popcorn, and so they were curious, like how I was gonna <laughs> get it out. And I had brought big giants sacks of, or you know, garbage bags basically is like you know Santa sacks basically um, and I said yeah so I got these you know 43 gallon multiple 43 gallon uh, you know garbage bags or whatever and, um, and then they wrapped up all the flavors in um, you know, smaller popcorn uh, packages so they're still pretty large they were pretty sizable um, and they had I forgot how many flavors they had a lot of flavors so I filled up a lot of these bags, and then I was basically just carrying them over my shoulders through the mall and, and walking through the parking lot back to my car and then shoving it in the back seat in the trunk and front seat and <laughs> had a ton of popcorn. <clears throat> but yeah, I think my dad liked the gift, so it was worth it. <clears throat> and then it was also it was a double good uh, gift too because yeah, the final year because of all the uh, chemo. Was losing his appetite, he wasn't eating enough, and so popcorns, you know, one of the things that he loves, and so it's easier to get him to eat the popcorn than uh, some of the other foods you're trying to get him to eat, so it was useful as well. And so, yeah, there's so much popcorn, it lasted. <laughs> Several months, I think. So yeah, I was trying to make sure the seals were airtight so they didn't go stale away. Yeah, so yeah, I didn't see much of Scruffy today. Right, I actually no, I saw Scruffy all day sleeping on the table. So he wasn't around in the morning, but yeah. At lunchtime, he appeared on the table and he stayed there all day. So even when I brought out the water, he just stayed there and then went back to sleep. So, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of footage of him today. It's just him sleeping on the table. But, yeah, not... Not a whole lot going on today. Oh, I did see Boots on my way back. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of Boots. So he was far off on the sidewalk ahead of me as I was coming back. And I was trying to get the camera out. And I think he noticed me. Even though I was really far away, I think he noticed me. And he saw I was you know, slowly approaching. So he decided to start walking away. And he decided to walk towards my house, and eventually he ended up ducking into my front yard. It's like, yeah, figures. Of all the places he'd duck into, it'd be my yard. 
So I was kind of worried he'd go back here and pick a fight with Scrumpy. So I followed him into my front yard and was looking for him. And I looked over the fence to see if he had snuck into my backyard. Didn't see him, so I kept sniffing around the front. And I saw he had left my uh, premises and he crossed the street, sending to one of my neighbors. So I tried to follow him, but I lost him. So I'm not sure where he ended up. But yeah, unfortunately, yeah, didn't get a good shot of him. It's done early. I didn't do a very good job cleaning the bowl tonight. Oh well. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.